I first heard about the Christian Academy of Guatemala when I was a teenager and living here as an MK in Guatemala in the city of Chimaltenango and my, a couple of my friends came to CAG and it wasn't at this campus at that time but um, they really benefited from the ministry back then and our graduates and the ones that I'm talking about are our full-time um, missionaries now themselves. So. And when I um, joined the Camino Global in 1997, they suggested that I come here to CAG, and that's how I came to minister. As an educational therapist, um, we work with the students who have learning difficulties of some time, and some type, and we we just love these kids. They are the, you know, the ones that think outside the box and the ones that are likely to change the world. That's how we feel about them, and we know that God has an incredible plan for their lives, and we. Just our role as we use this method of educational therapy is to strengthen any weak areas that they have so that they are completely capable to just fulfill God's purpose in their lives. They often live, um, depending on what age they come into the program, how much frustration that they've had before they start, but they and their parents have, have just struggled with um, how, why their child has a different uh, way of learning, why things are harder for them. And we often use John um, 9, 1 through 3, where the, the disciples came to Jesus and said to him, Who sinned, this man or his father, about the blind man? And he said, Neither this man nor his father sinned, but um, this man was born blind so that the work of God might be displayed in his life. And that's exactly what we see in these kids' lives as they persevere. And that's one of the skills that they learn is to work hard and they find that God blesses that and they are become capable where they thought they would not be capable. Absolutely, I see CAG preparing students to live lives of Christian service and um, they become aware of different ways to serve the Lord and they are nourished spiritually um, through the Bible classes, through chapel, through the examples around them, through the discipleship uh, groups that they're in to grow as Christians from the heart out. And, um, that's something that if, if you don't have that Christian belief and that um, just that saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, you can be lots of things on the outside, but it's not going to last. And that's something that I see CAG really focusing on is nourishing from the inside. We are able to um, uh, meet the educational needs of students here at CAG so that their parents are free to be in ministry. And there is such a variety of ministries that each different family is involved in um, here at school that we have a very wide reach. And many of the students after they leave CAG go out to all different areas of the world to serve the Lord and just to take God's word. And um, so we're preparing them to do what God has uh, in mind to call them to do. Discipleship is um, like I mentioned before, nourishing a student from the inside out so that they learn God's word and they learn what it means to obey that word and not to just put on a facade, which um, in a Christian environment can happen at times. And it happens in many ways. I think it happens individually. Um, as Kelly and I work in the discovery program, we are able to work one-on-one -on -one with students and that's a discipleship opportunity just to build into their lives. Um, also, each student is in, a, is in a discipleship group and working with someone who really loves and cares about them to teach them um, what God has for their lives at this time. Well, one way would be to support a teacher who comes to teach here because we do not receive a salary and we are living on the offerings that people give and it's, it, it overwhelms me so often, the sacrifices that other people are making so that I can be here um, teaching these kids and working in other ministries here in Guatemala. And sometimes I'm just amazed because I've been on the, uh, here at CAG for 17 years now. And all that time, um, God has provided through people who have it in their hearts to give so that I can serve Him here. Another way um, would be to come. You know, we have certain times of year when we have spiritual emphasis week, if someone has talents in the areas of music or in the areas of um, preaching and teaching, they, they could come and participate here at CAG by being part of that spiritual emphasis time. 
Um, and occasionally there are opportunities for teams to come here to work on campus too. I am here because for several reasons. The first one is God called me to be here and I know this is where he wants me to be. Another reason is that I just love it. And so I feel so privileged to work one-on-one um, -on -one with students the way I do, knowing that I can help them directly in the area that they need help. And I just, I have um, seen the changes in their lives and in their abilities through these years and I, I feel very fulfilled. I just want to um, just mention how strongly I have felt supported through the administration of CAG as we're um, working with students who have special needs. Sometimes they, um, they're struggling so much and the administration always is just committed to meeting those needs and, uh, and making sure uh, that teachers and parents uh, are on board and that that student receives the intervention they need. And I've been so grateful for that, um, just that love for each individual student that I've seen.